With these no-swim advisories and recent reports of flesh-eating bacteria, we know a lot of people are concerned about getting in the water at all. It's going to be a decent beach weekend, so we want to separate the facts from the fiction. 10 News reporter Jenny Dean is in Anna Maria Island with what you need to know. Two big questions. What is flesh-eating bacteria? And is it really becoming more common? Well, we put our Verify team to work to answer those questions for you and find out if it's really safe to go in that water. Let's start with the term flesh-eating bacteria. Well, that's kind of a misnomer. There is a bacteria that can do serious damage, and we have seen several recent cases, but a local infectious disease doctor tells us the truth is the really bad one, well, it's not very common. And it often gets confused with a different sort of infection. So let's break it down. First, the less serious is cellulitis. This infection it is very common and it can infect the deep layers of the skin, but if it's caught and treated early, it usually will clear up with no long term problems. Now the second infection, it's more serious. It's called necrotizing fasciitis and this is the one that people often call the flesh eating bacteria. This one is rare and what it does is it decays the fascia or the soft connective tissue that runs throughout your body kind of starting on the skin and then getting deeper and deeper. This one it spreads fast and if it is not caught and treated quickly by getting rid of all of that infected tissue it can kill you and this is the one that is scaring people. While it is rare, we know people are worried about it and there are some precautions you can take. If you're going to be out at the beach or in the bay waters, you want to check yourself for any open wounds or scratches where bacteria might be able to enter the body. If you have those, avoid swimming in the open water. Now, if you do swim and you find out you got a scratch, the best thing you can do is just wash it thoroughly, then keep an eye on it. And if it starts to change or look infected, that's the best time to contact your doctor just to be sure. We are staying on top of these no swim advisories. As soon as we get the results from the latest samples, we're going to keep you updated at WTSP.com.